So now in this video, I'm going to take this 2 Series 2 parallel battery pack and add two more parallel batteries in series. So we will have a 3 Series 2 parallel battery pack. And uh, we're going to first check the voltages and make sure they're close. So since we're adding these in series, it's not as important that the voltages be equal but still they should be close to the same voltage so we got three point basically seven there and I'm gonna measure this backwards so we'll get a negative voltage but as you can see it's negative three point seven across that battery so all four of these batteries are connected together at the bottom there's two more bus bars that go across and uh, that puts them in series pretty straightforward now let's look at the voltage of the batteries we're gonna add so 3.65 I just open these and uh, 3.65 that's the voltage they come so I actually discharged these they were fully charged in uh, the last video I discharged them so that we could make this connection so let's uh, clear this up a bit and get to it so now as I said before we have all four of the batteries connected down here that's what makes this go in series so I want to keep this side the negative side and we're gonna work our way positive actually down to there so we will be making a four-way connection here and also the uh, battery monitor wires whatever it would officially be called I actually have uh, five wires here and Two of them are just floating, they're not connected to anything there, and they're not connected to anything there. So, once we add our other battery, we'll have one more wire, this blue wire, to attach. And then we could add another battery in series, and uh, have the uh, red wire there. So, first, let's put these red ones on the bottom, and so, I think I will, yeah, I'll have to have these teeth out because it will the other connector will slide and uh, so it would be teeth to teeth right there so we will just slide this up and I find that uh, they're really tight at first but if you kind of wiggle them it helps first let them move and then also makes them a little looser when you want to take them apart and now we got uh, this one and so we got teeth and teeth there, teeth and teeth there and so we're just going to slide this in there and this is the first time I've actually squeezed one in in between two that were already placed but uh, there you go that was pretty straightforward there and by the way these posts are about the same height as the plastic there so you don't want to lay anything conductive on there or set it on a conductive surface so we got those two there and we will put the batteries on and I snapped them shut this snap is really hard to open I find just prying out the little screwdriver there helps a lot so we're gonna have red down here that's gonna be positive sometimes I say positive instead of red by accident but uh, we put the positive side of the batteries down there because they're gonna be in series so this is going to be floating down here, this part of it, but the negative side is going to be connected to the positive side right there. And uh, so we want to make sure positive is down at the bottom. And let's uh, slip in one of these blue ones now. I think that'll be easier than trying to do multiple ones at the same time. So there we go. This one. We got the battery to fight with and the other ones so I don't think I'm going to get it down just by hand pressure and I have this heavy duty hammer which I actually got to help break open a geode. I'm just going to tap it down, I'm not hitting it hard just using the weight of it to uh, put that down and it's not quite flush with the red one next to it I don't think but uh, there we go I think that's pretty good let's get the uh, multimeter and make sure 
we have a voltage. So this is not attached to anything yet. So we should just have the voltage of one battery. If I connect to the terminal, which I am not for some reason. There we go. So 3.65. We probably have it uh, pretty nicely held together now. And let's do the same thing with this battery again. We got to put positive to red. And be a good idea to make sure each time. And then take the other blue one. And unfortunately, I goofed. There's teeth there, and there's no teeth there. So let's pop that off. All right, so I popped it off. It wasn't too terrible, but wasn't too exciting either. So make sure positive's going to red again. And let's slide this into place. Make sure the battery's on there. There we go. Slider into place. And now, we have teeth there, teeth there. We'll put the gap there, gap there, or across the teeth, of course. And probably have to kind of wiggle it into place. Well, make sure the battery, that's what the problem is. Battery wasn't lined up, so there we go. So, should be able to get it most of the way. And let's tap it down. Again, I'm using a pretty heavy duty hammer. Any hammer should work just fine. You're not beating it, just kind of tapping it into place. So, I think both batteries now are uh, doing pretty good. And make sure the light's not blocking or uh, glaring off of the meter. So, since I had to make adjustments, double check this voltage, so 3.65 and 3.65. So now, we'll be connecting these four together, and this one will only be connected to itself. We will also need, as I said before, the blue wire to come here to help monitor this. So, we will just set this here, and I should strip off some more plastic off of this. So, I got my wire cutter, wire stripper here, and we will just quickly Strip off some more. There we go. That should be plenty right there. And so we don't have to worry too much about this short circuiting anything because it comes to this plug as do does these other wires, which just comes to a dead end. So unless this was able to reach that terminal and that terminal at the same time, we don't really have to worry about short circuiting anything. And so we will just put the bus bar on there and this is pretty straightforward we're going to take a couple of nuts and uh, tighten that down and also while i'm here now this is where the positive side of the plug is going to be the positive side of the battery pack i have these teeth i can just put in there so now of course i should have a socket wrench 5.5 millimeter i assumed i did but i didn't i ordered one now but for now, I'm just hand tightening these down with pliers. So pretty boring. I'm not going to shoot that. All right. So now we are done with that. Let's flip her back. And I tried to make sure the wires didn't get too entangled. So unfortunately, these are kind of top heavy there. As you can see there, the teeth kind of come down. And so I had to turn this one upside down. It's a little, little awkward but it will still work. I wish these wires were a little bit longer. But in any case, the wires aren't entangled, and we can add another one in series. That's what this red wire is for. But let's get to this. This is where we have to make our connection because these two batteries are connected there. We have it open there. We don't want to connect it there. That's for sure. And uh, so we're gonna connect. We got uh, negative down there to positive, positive directly to negative coming over there. We're gonna connect across here that will put these three in series and uh, so there's two batteries per series battery and uh, I'm kind of just calling the two batteries once they're wired in parallel a single battery for the most part and I'm gonna have to loosen these 
and uh, tighten them back down. Now we don't have a balancing wire here because we have this one. We're going to be connecting across there. That's all going to be one node, one conductive area. And so now we got the nuts off. We'll grab a couple of bus bars to connect these in series. That's all we need to do other than tighten them down and making sure this wire stays connected somehow. And now I have them tightened down so we can test her out. Plug this in right there and I find that this stays off by the way that got scratched wiping it off with my shirt. Apparently this scratch is easy so if you get one of these use a uh, cloth or something and uh, turn off the overhead light to reduce glare and once we plug her in, it should turn on and tell us about the battery pack we have. So there's the new one we added. As we saw with the multimeter, it was a slightly lower voltage than the other two. But now we have three parallel batteries that are connected in series. And so three series, two parallel. And so we're going to have three times the voltage of one of them as long as they're all equal value. So it's really that easy just to add some more of course it would help if I have the socket wrench the right one I ordered one but uh, it, it would really be uh, easy then that was the hardest part trying to tighten those down with a plier so hopefully that comes soon and uh, in any case we can uh, just keep adding them in series if we need more voltage if we need more capacity we will just add more of them in parallel. You can just snap them together that easy.